It's important to know how to write a good medical school secondary essay, so I'm going to give you a little bit of information about the medical school secondary essays, and then I'll go over three different successful medical school secondary essay examples and discuss what makes them great. Before we begin, I just want to introduce myself. Hi, I'm Nadine Evans with BMO Academic Consulting. Please subscribe on whatever social media channel you're watching this from so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. If you'd like us to help you prepare for your medical school application, go to bmomedapplication.com to schedule your free initial consultation. So firstly, what is the purpose of medical school secondary essays? As with many stages of the medical school application process, it's to determine whether or not you are a good fit for the school you're applying to. Depending on how you answer different prompts, the admission committee will be evaluating how you fit in with their school's values and mission statements. While some schools will send out secondary applications to all students who have applied, others will only send out secondary applications to students that have passed the initial screening process. Once you've received the application, you should ensure that you have completed your essay and send it back within two weeks. Medical schools see a prompt submission as an indication of your interest in the program, and if you've applied to 10 to 20 different schools, you're going to have a lot to write in only two weeks. The solution to this problem is to pre-write your secondary essays. I've included an important link below which will direct you to a comprehensive list of medical schools in the U.S. and their corresponding secondary essay prompts. With this information, you can create an essay outline or rough essay that outlines the prompt theme for each school. Keep in mind that some schools change their prompts from year to year, but even if they do, sometimes the theme is still the same, even though the prompt may be slightly adjusted. This is a great resource that we're providing to you. Just be sure you always check with the official admissions office to make sure that you have the most up-to-date medical school secondary essay prompt for your school. I've added a link below for you so you can also review our video regarding how to answer the five most common medical school secondary essay prompts, which are why our school, cultural competency, overcoming challenges, future goals, and academic lapses or breaks. This will be important for you to review as it will ensure that you can address whatever prompt your school may give you. Now let's go over a few successful medical school secondary essay prompt examples. These prompts had specific character or word counts which the students were sure to adhere to. Be sure that you always note and follow any character or word counts. Do not even be one word or one character above the limit. Okay, so this first prompt said, Beyond academics, grades, and MCATs, describe the most significant challenge you have faced and the steps to address this challenge. The student's reply was this, My sister was diagnosed with epilepsy at three months old, and it has been a continual learning experience. She never qualified for an autism diagnosis, but her behaviors resembled an autistic or neurodivergent individual. As an eight-year-old, I did not notice public reactions to my sister's behaviors. But as we grew older, I became embarrassed when people would stare at her or notice her behavioral differences. Behavioral incidents continued to occur throughout my time in high school and college. However, I have grown into a more empathetic person who better understands the difficulties my sister faces. I won't deny that sometimes it is still embarrassing, but I remind myself that she struggles to control her behaviors and it's not her fault. The best way I can help her as a sister is to be there for her and try to help her through the emotions she may not be able to express all the time. Understanding my sister has made me into a stronger, more confident, and empathetic woman. So of course, this is an example of an overcoming challenges prompt. The student gave an excellent answer. They directly answered the prompt in a clear, concise manner while making sure to provide concrete examples of the challenge that they faced. They were sure to explain how they overcame the challenge instead of simply playing the victim. Okay, so let's go into another prompt and example. Describe how you relate to someone who is very different from you. Examples of differences may be cultural, racial, religious, economic, gender, sexual orientation, or lifestyle. The student answered like this. The world is so diverse and it can be easy to resign to only care for and be informed of one's own personal interests. To connect with someone else is to choose to forego ignorance and aim to understand other people and their backgrounds. This is a choice that is made every day when we decide how to interact in society. In my first year of university, I roomed with a person who immigrated from Colombia. I saw how difficult it was for her to transition to a new country and to overcome cultural barriers. 
Instead of accepting the fact that our cultures rendered us incompatible, I decided to educate myself on her culture. I started to read of all the political unrest in Colombia. I found Latin music we could listen to, and I utilized my basic Spanish to try to make her feel at home. Five years later, we still live together and are the best of friends. It's clear that a little effort trying to understand the life and journey of someone else can go a long way to building connections and trust. Okay, let's go into the last example. Professionalism and the ability to gain respect in the community in which you live is of utmost importance as you embark upon a career as a physician. What three professional qualities do you feel a student doctor must be able to demonstrate as he or she makes the transition into the study and practice of medicine? How will you demonstrate those qualities as a medical student at Rowan SOM? The student said, There are many valuable attributes a student doctor must possess, but the three of which I consider the most valuable are self-discipline reflection, open-mindedness and sensitivity, and teamwork skills. Possessing self-discipline and self-reflection skills are key for any student doctor planning on tackling the arduous medical courses that will come their way. Through my undergraduate career, I have constantly approved upon my academic study strategies to adapt to the rigors of upper-level biological courses. I realize that when one way does not work, it is crucial to consult peers, advisors, and professors to improve my approach. Such changes included recording my lectures, attending more office hours, and even seeking resources outside of my lecture material to supplement my knowledge. I use this principle in my personal health goals as well. For example, my favorite hobby that I use to keep me grounded is going to the gym, where I attempt to break my fitness plateaus by researching and consulting peers. It is this drive to constantly improve myself that will allow me to overcome the many obstacles that will come my way during my medical pursuit. In addition, it is important for student doctors to be open-minded and sensitive when understanding patients from diverse backgrounds. My research experience at the Center for Addiction, Personality, and Emotion Research enriched my understanding of the socioeconomic and environmental factors that are involved in developing addiction disorders. Learning about the neurobehavioral and psychological processes that underlie addictive behaviors reinforced my awareness of the health disparities that arise from environmental and social systems in my local community. It is imperative to understand the patient outside of their symptoms in order to realize the other factors involved in their diagnosis. I aim to one day use this knowledge to inform my future patients of preventative measures and how to overcome their environmental strains. Lastly, it is crucial for student doctors to develop teamwork skills when entering the field of medicine. Physicians have to be prepared to engage and work within different teamwork structures or environments with other specialists to provide high quality care for their patients. My experiences as an EMT taught me firsthand how critical it is to build long-lasting relationships based on trust with your team. I have spent countless hours getting to know my EMS crew to ensure that we build a sense of camaraderie that would allow us to work well together during calls. I remember one occasion when my partner was flustered during a stressful call and could not remember the next step in delivering a treatment protocol to a patient. I noticed he was frustrated and subtly reminded him of the next step. Based on our relationship and trust, he acted on my advice and later thanked me for the assistance. Knowing that we always had each other's back gave us the reassurance and confidence we needed to handle the many unpredictable calls that came our way. I hope to strengthen this same sense of teamwork as a future physician. This is a future goals prompt that's also asking the student about the qualifications and the realization of their professional ambitions. The student wrote a very compelling and interesting essay. From the first paragraph, we see the applicant's curiosity for medicine and desire to help others. This same theme continues developing in chronological order, which ultimately leads into why they are interested in applying to that specific school. So thanks for tuning in. This wraps up another one of our videos. Hopefully you found it helpful, so please subscribe, like, and leave a comment if you have any questions. If you'd like us to help you with your medical school application, go to bmomedapplication.com to schedule your free initial consultation. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.